Maybe you've passed your code on to someone else, literally. And with that, I leave the rest in your capable hand, Gardner. Mm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I need to call the police. Hold on. <laughs> Too much Too much Nine one one. This is an emergency. Edgeworth just said partner to Phoenix Wright. Bullshit, shit, bullshit, spewing bullshit from my mouth. <laughs> Accurate! Oh, okay, Coco. <laughs> this is what Coco's like without a nap. <laughs> okay, hold the phone. I- I just- She's naming Maya? I just- well, Can we hold the phone just a second? Can I knife Godot? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll- I'll hold the phone, and here's a knife! Thank you! <laughs> Fuck uh, you! Uh, uh. Inquiring after a parrot. <laughs> but I think it might actually hurt our standing with the judge. The judge is sleeping, I cannot- <laughs> <laughs> Just sitting there fucking sleeping while I think it has like an mm. inner crisis. <laughs> I only need to click every couple of minutes, it's fine, I'll sleep. <laughs>
I mean, all that coffee will make him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, well... Anyway, the type of weapon she chose to use isn't what's important. The important thing is that she tried to kill Maya Fey. As long as there's nothing strange about that, there's no problem with her testimony. Hmm. Now, about that, though. About that. But there is something strange about this whole testimony. Well, Mr. Wright, the proposition has a point. Very well, Your Honor. The defense will now present evidence to back its argument. M Mr. Wright. I have another p I have here another piece of evidence that shows that this testimony can't be trusted. Because Miss Elise Donum would never attempt to take the life of Maya Fey. Elise Donum would never have attacked Maya Fey. How can you be so sure? Because the victim's real name was not Elise Donum. Her real name was... Misty Fay. Oh! Uh, no! Not Mystic Misty Fay! Who is this Misty Fay? Is she related to... Misty Fay is the master of the Korean channeling technique. She is also... The mother of Maya Fey. Are you serious? Is it really true, Mr. Wright? Was Elise Donum actually the great mystic Misty? There's no doubt about it. It looks like Iris had no idea. I can hardly believe it. The idea that she would try to kill her only daughter, one she hadn't seen in 17 years. Perhaps the prosecution can offer some explanation for why she would do such a thing. <sighs> I like the ghost of her. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Order! Order in the court! Upon first hearing the witness' testimony, it seemed natural enough. However, in light of some facts that have just been presented, one, that the victim supposedly threw away a sword during a fight, and two, that the two people battling to the death were mother and daughter. Despite the fact being believable when taken on their own. When taken together, the entire story seems difficult to believe. Listen, there's nothing in this world that isn't possible. Except for one little thing. Yes, what is this one little impossible thing? Me being a reasonable person. <laughs> <laughs> you still don't get it. No, no one fucking understands a thing you're fucking talking about because you're an idiot. <laughs> you think maybe my beans are beans are unroasted, <laughs> but you have no idea, Gramps. You're, oh my god, that's You're the perfect analogy. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Binks? I said that's the perfect analogy for being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, could you get to your point? Like, Thank you, Phoenix. This century? <laughs> <laughs> I heard this witness's confession this morning. 
just as I had taken the first sip of my eighth cup of morning coffee. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to ruin your health, my friend. <laughs> anyway, not paying attention to that good advice, after hearing this woman's confession, I had a detective who loves to investigate sent to the scene of the crime. And he discovered this little beauty. Why the hell didn't he discover it before? Is that the dagger the witness testified to seeing? Obviously, your honor. But do you not notice something else? Now that you mention it, if you look closely, there appears to be a blood stain. So, Godot, how was, uh, you know, planting that last night? <clears throat> Where did you find that? I didn't see that when I investigated the crime scene. Do you investigate the pine tree at the crime scene? Huh? The pine tree? This dagger was stuck in the backside of the pine tree. When the last blow was struck, ending the violent battle between the two women. This little baby was thrown in the direction of the back of the palm pine tree. How does that make sense, trajectory-wise? It doesn't, it's because he fucking is making everything up. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm gonna kill him. Give me that dagger, Judge. I'm gonna <laughs> kill him. Here you go. Which <laughs> Thank you. Which means the blood on this dagger belongs to the victim, correct? Huh. Were you even listening, old man? I first heard this confession this morning. Just as I had taken the first sip of my 13th cup of morning coffee. Objection! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Didn't you just say it was your 8th just a few minutes ago? God, my heart hurts just thinking about it. Yeah. I didn't have t enough time to get the blood analyzed on such short notice. Oh, then it's inadmissible in court. Wow. In any case, the court will accept the dagger as evidence. Furthermore, I order that a blood test be performed on it immediately. This is my sweetheart. Make sure you treat her right. Not like right, but right. Bailiff, get this piece of evidence to the crime lab for testing immediately. Thank you, Bailiff. Now then, you're right, he should thank him sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> The testimony we've just heard had numerous unbelievable aspects to it. However, after having found the very dagger the witness spoke of, I believe we can consider her testimony to be credible. Cute girls never lie. Ever. <laughs> zero brain cells alert. <laughs> zero, zero brain cells alert. Cute girls never poison people either. Mm, literally... Too soon. <laughs> He's literally on the level of fucking Larry Butts at this point. Like, how can you fucking sink so low? <laughs> you dated Mia. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Mia, unfortunately, also has the affliction of moron sexual. Oh no, <laughs> she's just Nadjwar. God damn it! In any case, witness, if you could please testify again to this court. Actually, you know what I also remember? <laughs> uh, that's also sort of a thing with Mia, Lana, because of some things that were said in the fifth case. <laughs> Yes. yes. That would that would be a that would be a good ship there. 
That would be. If only. Um, about what, Your Honor? About the incident you saw, the battle between the two women. That would that would mean that I would also mean that Emma and Maya would be sisters. That would be so Aww. cute. Aww. Aww. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Oh God, they'd be the most chaotic siblings ever. <laughs> they would. I can't remember if they ever really interact in the games, you know? I don't think they did. Because Maya was completely gone from the fifth case. And then the only... She appears in Investigations 1, which is how also has Maya missing. Then she's in the fifth game, which has Maya missing. They might interact a little. They might interact a little in the sixth game, maybe. Maya gets fucking kidnapped so much. <laughs> Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff, but then she dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole the weapon. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at the candid. Maya gets kidnapped so much. <laughs> fucking, am I wrong? She's so fucking... <laughs> it's it's Phoenix's turn to get kidnapped. Yes, That's that would be amazing. Yes. Phoenix and has and have come to rescue right. him. <laughs> yes. Exactly. But then she dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole her weapon. Teleports behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Mystic Elise was the one on the defensive, with her back to the stone lantern. Oh man, we died in Doom, shit. <laughs> That's when He's Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise. Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away, but then... Then she collapsed. Oh, good play-by-play, -play, yes. <laughs> that was a very heartbreaking story. I don't know if there were any bad feelings between them, but... It had been 17 years since Mystic Misty's disappearance. Perhaps they simply didn't recognize each other anymore. Mm, that seems reasonable. Now then, Mr. Wright, proceed with your cross-examination. Oh boy. Mystic Maya stumbled briefly after being hit over the head with the staff. Iris, were you standing when you witnessed all of this? Or where were you standing? <laughs> were you sitting on your ass? <laughs> With popcorn and soda? Yeah! <laughs> um, what do you mean? Well, if either of them had noticed you, they might not have continued their battle. I... I wonder if that's true. The two of them. They were standing near the garden stone lantern. I... I was watching the whole thing from behind. It was dark where the two of them were, so... I think that's why they didn't, they didn't see me. Mm, so it was dark in the garden when the murder took place. Tell me, what did Miss Maya Fay do after she was struck? But then, she dodged Mystic Elise's next attack and stole her weapon. I'm just thinking about how dark it was, and how the fuck you see in the dark. You got like one of them fucking splinter cell like masks? What do you got? Tell me. What happened to the victim's staff, then? Uh, I'm not sure. 
the area was very dark, so I really couldn't see. I think it got knocked away somewhere as the fight escalated. That makes sense. That would explain the need for the dagger. Mystic Elise raised the dagger to strike. But Mystic Maya dodged it at the last second. The dagger struck the lantern and fell to the ground. And then, at some point, Mystic Maya picked it up. Nothing sounds especially strange yet. What did the victim do when the weapon was stolen from her? Suddenly, Mystic Elise was the one on the defensive, with her back to the stone lantern. You're saying that Maya Fey turned the tables on the victim. It, yes. But Mystic Maya wasn't herself at the time. After all, her life was in danger. I still can't believe it. The idea of Maya cornering someone at knife point, it's just silly. As they say, a cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal. Who the fuck says that? Me. Tell me who the fuck says that. Me. Come <laughs> <laughs> <Uncle, please. laughs> You sound like Mr. Fucking Plinket, and it's killing me. Who? <laughs> it's it's um a character. I, I watched these a million years ago when I was in college, but there's a, a series from Red Letter Media that was about the Star Star Wars uh, movies and just, like, dissecting them. And he there were a lot of, like, really messed up jokes in it, but, like, the... Oh, I think I saw the, some of that, yeah. The character of Mr. Plinkett is supposed to be, like, a horrifyingly old man who's, the kidnapper like, a fucking like... murderer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah, so he, that sounded like Mr. Plinkett going, me! <laughs> it's like, oh my god, no. Are you gonna get us to order coffee from your web zone? <laughs> okay. I believe the correct description of a cornered fox is scared and petrified. Your animal analogies have grown tiresome. You were the one who started it, dickbag! <laughs> anyway... The judge is so not here for this. He's so tired. <laughs> he just wants a nap. He does! Yeah, it's just like Coco. <laughs> so, after Maya Fey backed the victim into the stone lantern, what happened next? That's when Mystic Maya stabbed Mystic Elise. Are you absolutely certain that's what you saw? You know, not a ghost possessing my girl? My, my teenage daughter? <laughs> yes, I am almost certain. Almost. The garden was dark. I couldn't really tell who was who. What did she just say? So, so in other words, it could have been someone else entirely. Objection. We know that Maya Frey was at the inner temple that night. And that the woman that was killed was Elise Donum. Isn't it fairly obvious who attacked who? Nah, no, not fucking really. It could have literally been anyone. The bridge wasn't fucking dead yet. <laughs> the bridge like, wasn't dead. <laughs> yes, it wasn't dead. It wasn't up in flames. Phoenix was not in the river with a mild concussion or whatever the fuck. A fever. Whatever he had. I don't know. <laughs> he jumped in like an idiot. <laughs> 
Well then, witness, please continue with your testimony. Yes, Your Honor. The two of them faced each other for a moment. Then Mystic Maya rushed straight into Mystic Elise. Then Mystic Elise doubled over and fell to the ground. Mm, so she was stabbed in the stomach, huh? Yes. Mystic Elise managed to fling the knife away, but then... Then she collapsed. Where did that dagger go? I have no idea. It was dark and I couldn't see. According to the detective who found the dagger, it was stuck in the pine tree in the garden. Most likely it was flung towards the tree after the struggle. That is the most likely expl explanation, yes. <laughs> After being stabbed in the stomach, did the victim collapse right away? Now that I think of it... She seemed to stare at Mystic Maya for a while. And Mystic Maya stood there, not moving an inch. Felt for a moment like time had just stopped. Mm. But then, suddenly, as if the spell had worn off, Mystic Elise fell over. It seems like a reasonable story at first. But there's one thing that is completely impossible. The very idea of Maya stabbing someone. That alone is impossible, which means... His faith in her makes me cry. Mm-hmm. This faulty testimony must contain another contradiction in it somewhere. I, I know you guys already know the answer, but I just want to put out there that I would assume that it has to do with how Elise was stabbed. Because I thought the autopsy report didn't have a stab wound so to the stomach. Fire. I thought it was more like a stab wound to the back only. Stab in the back. Good. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the thing I always found kind of funny here is that she doesn't actually say where she stabbed her, I don't think. But we're just mm. supposed to derive that from the fact that it's that she said that her back was to the uh, stone pillar in this picture. Mm -hmm. Well, and also she does say in her testimony that there's the stab to the stomach. If you press it, yeah. 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 So it's not even in the main testimony stuff. Mm -hmm. Something about you... Something about you just isn't right today, Iris. Huh? Until now, I didn't think you were the type to make such a careless mistake. However, the testimony you just gave contains quite a few contradictions. What do you mean? What's so wrong about my testimony? According to you, Maya Faye stabbed the victim who had her back to the stone lantern, correct? Yes, that's right. But in that case, the victim would have been stabbed in the stomach, right? Yes, I think so. But, according to the autopsy report, the cause of death was due to blood loss from a stab wound in her back. Oh. 
This proves that the victim was stabbed from behind, not from the front. Sister Iris. It appears another seed of doubt has sprouted from your testimony. What are you, fucking Edgeworth? <gasps> He's been influenced. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? He got a seed, alright. <laughs> huh. It's simple. People are like books. We've all got a book. <laughs> I'm about to fucking be. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Yeah, this is my favorite quote from him. It's so stupid. <laughs> It's so obnoxious. We've all got oh a front God. and a back. You get my drift. What? <laughs> is this just you Larry in a wig? Like done with him. <laughs> is this Larry in a wig? I feel like it's Larry in a wig and a mask. It's not even the guy who died or whatever the fuck happened to him. It's just Larry in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Cos playing as Diego to try and woo me as ghost. Oh my, <laughs> my fucking god. god, he would. He would. Um, is that all you have to say? Seriously. I can also say that darkness loves to play with the human mind. Could you just please? Please, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, too much of this testimony just doesn't make sense. Throwing away a useful staff, the people fighting being mother and daughter... And now, she falsely claims the victim was stabbed in the stomach. Hmm, there certainly are some inconsistencies. Well, Iris, what about it? Or how about it? Well, it's just... If you ask me, you're just being too naive about the whole thing. What do you mean? There are 253 distinct types of bitterness in coffee. Oh I will not God. stop my bullshit moon! But to pick out <laughs> each one- <laughs> you! <laughs> but to pick- Oh, I legit just scream. <laughs> what makes me scream at this time of night? <laughs> <laughs> will your mother think you're this. having sex again? <laughs> <laughs> She knows I'm talking to you, after all! <laughs> oh my god, called out! <laughs> but to pick out each one requires total concentration and the use of all the senses. Were you really concentrating on what this witness actually said? Look, Godot, I understand you're disassociating constantly, but yeah! <laughs> All been paying attention, except for you, who's for some reason convinced he's going to win this fucking mess of a case on bullshit. <laughs> I'm so much. What the fuck? Okay, I'm trying to breathe. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, Banks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, prosecutor. <laughs> <laughs> we believe in you. <laughs> we believe in you, Pinks. <laughs> prosecutor, go explain yourself. <laughs> the witness was quite unambiguous about her own ambiguities when she said that the garden was dark and she couldn't see clearly. A human needs one thing to see clearly, and that is light. Light. Oh my god, you fucking suck so much. I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> He's so terrible. Like, this is dumb. It's like, wow, dude, really? You don't think 
think that makes this invalid at best? <laughs> no, you think you're right. Okay. Oh, I have coffee. You. Of course I'm right. Literally, the most arrogant man to fucking exist in this game is st stood right fucking there. Von Karma was not this fucking egomaniacal, convinced of his own bullshit, as fucking Gajo. You know what? I never thought about it in that way, but you're absolutely right. <laughs> it's so fucked up. The worst, the worst man. <laughs> the worst man was not as bad as this guy. Moon, I'm sorry to say, but you're gonna hate him even more. <laughs> it's just gonna get worse from here on out. This bastard man. By the way, did you know? The inner temple has a rule that on nights when an acolyte is there training, the stone lantern in the garden is to always be lit. Why did he just immediately contradict himself? Why did he just, like, literally? Ah, uh, yes, the garden was dark, and yet it was one of those nights, those great nights, when there's an alcohol. What the fuck? <laughs> hmm, I did wonder what that stone lantern was there for. Did you really, Feeny? Oh, no. You didn't just assume that oh, people lit God. that shit? That's fuck, true. really? <laughs> well, if that's true. Shouldn't the witness have been able to see the crime more clearly? And with that, we will end this episode right here. Thank you guys for joining us, and see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is permanently like this. <laughs> I can't believe we killed Banks. Turned that was all on you. I'm blaming you. <laughs> I can't help it! I hate Godot so fucking much! He's worse than Larry! How can you be worse than Larry but? God, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> He's <Aww>. like... <laughs> no, not okay. like sad crying. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm dying of laughter. <laughs> this, is, this is my worst hot take yet. I hope you've got this recording because I don't know if we're doing yes. anymore right now. But I'm like, recording right now. Still recording. <laughs> Von Karma and Larry Butts if they fused into one person, they would be fucking Godot. <laughs> there, I said it. That's the level of bullshit this man is on. <laughs> so, very true. When it comes to characters in this series, I'd say there are four that I would say I actually hate. Godot is one of them. <laughs> and the three <laughs> others all come from the fourth game. I mean, the, yeah, the fourth <laughs> game. But Godot is one of them. <laughs> oh, Apollo Justice game? Yes. I'm Ooh. sure you know who the three other w ones are. They all belong to the same group. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. <laughs> so wait, Godot and then who? And then three other characters that you meet in the fourth game. Okay. So you haven't come across Okay, I was making sure it wasn't actually five and I had done wrong math. <laughs> like, and I was like, wait a minute, is there another character that I missed? Oh, missing? you will have more once you play Investigations too. <laughs> oh boy. Coco will suffer. Uh, you're gonna suffer with me, you're playing that with me. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but you also have to press the buttons. <laughs> God, I don't even want to record with you guys because you guys need to do it blind, but I kind of just want to be a fly in the wall. <laughs> I mean, you could sit there and, uh, I don't know, emote at someone else uh, during the recording and be like, <laughs> These don't fools. Yes, I might do exactly. that. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> well, you're more than welcome and Meanwhile, to. we'll be swinging at Banks when anything bad happens and be like, what? you should have told me. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one thing I know about Investigations 2, and that's the reappearance of one character who I would never have expected from uh, the third case in the second game. Ooh. I think I saw her sprite and I'm like, all right, I'm curious to see what they do with her because I have a lot of uh, not feelings of attachment to that character, but just, I think what they did with her character was one of the few good things about that case.
It was interesting, yeah. Anywho, I can do one more. Are you guys up for that? I think or? I should. I think I should go because uh, Scott's been playing games, and I don't want to hush him no more. Uh, okie dokie. <laughs>